How's everyone doing? Today I'll be reviewing Crystal Head Vodka, and this is co-founded by actor Dan Aykroyd and artist John Alexander. And the crystal skull design of the bottle comes from the archaeological mystery of the 13 crystal skulls, which were found all across the world, and they range in age from 5,000 years to 35,000 years. And they're supposedly polished into shape with solid chunks of quartz over hundreds of years. And there's supposedly no tool marks for them as well. And the legend goes whoever possesses one of these crystal skulls is given spiritual power and enlightenment. And the crystal skulls aren't a sign of death, but instead are a sign of life. So it's a really cool history behind the design of this bottle. Very unique. And then there's the name right there. And it has a nice little stopper design lid. Very cool. Right there. This is very unique, and this is definitely one of the few bottles that I would actually keep, just because it looks so neat. And I've actually heard people sell these bottles on eBay for like $20, $25, just empty. And the water comes from the glacial aquifers of Newfoundland, Canada, and then the mash is distilled four times. And then it is filtered three times through charcoal, and then poured three times through semi-precious crystals. And Crystal Head Vodka recently won the double gold medal at the World Spirits Competition in San Francisco, California. And this is for 2011, and basically this means that out of 30 judges, they all voted unanimously out of 200 vodkas that Crystal Head Vodka was the best tasting vodka. But now I'm going to try it for myself and see what I think of it. Love this design, though. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. And I got these little Crystal Head Vodka shot glasses, which are also really cool. And you can order these on their website as well. I'll put a link down below. And I got a little mixer here, so I have some ice in here so I can chill the shot. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Love that bottle right there. All right, and let's pour it. Very nice, very easy to pour. I like that, how it has that uh, beveled edge right there. Makes it very easy pour. And put that stopper top back on. And I got a little ice in here. And I'm gonna shake it up. Shaken, not stirred. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body line. And I love these shot glasses. Very cool design, just like the bottle. Alright. Let's take a smell. You can definitely get a, a, a smell of the ethanol. Very sweet. Alright, let's see what it tastes like. Very smooth, very clean and crisp. Not a lot of additives to it, you can, you can definitely tell it's very clean. Sweet, almost got a, a hint of vanilla in there at the, at the end. And it definitely has a, you can definitely tell it's alcohol, it's got that, uh, that little kick at the end. Have a little bit more. Just enough for another shot. Salud. Very nice shot. It goes down silky smooth. You can definitely, it has that back kick of uh, alcohol though, but very smooth, sweet vanilla taste at the end as well. Very nice shot. Tastes delicious. Uh, I definitely think this is an excellent vodka, one I would definitely recommend. You know, re just looking at it, you know, you're tempted to buy it because of the bottle. But you know what? The vodka is just as good, and it's definitely worth the purchase. This bottle right here goes for about $50 on shelves. Uh, but like I said, if you want, you could sell the bottle by itself on eBay. I've heard of people selling for $20, $25 just a bottle. So you can drink the alcohol and make some of the money back that way as well. But personally, I'm going to keep this skull because it looks awesome. And the vodka, delicious. Definitely some of the best vodka I've had. It's definitely up there with some of the big names. And it deserves to be. Like I said, it's very smooth, but you can definitely tell that there's alcohol in there. It has a very nice finish to it as well. Almost a sweet aftertaste. Very, like I said, silky smooth. Love this one. Very pure. None of that antifreeze flavor. Uh, not very medicinal tasting. Uh, it isn't overly sweet. Like I said, it has that vanilla, but it's like kind of a hint of vanilla. Almost kind of like a sweet aftertaste, but not overpoweringly so. Just goes down really smooth. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. I would definitely describe this as a very smooth vodka, and definitely one I would highly recommend. Very, love that design. All the intricate details, the teeth, the bone structure. 
very cool. Very happy with this. And if you've had Crystal Head Vodka, definitely let me know what you think as well. And let me know what your favorite vodka is as well. Leave me a comment or a video response down below. And I hope everyone's doing well. Take care.